What does soap have to do with who we are? With identity? Soap belongs to a class of molecules that are amphiphatic. These molecules are amphibious because they have two distinct parts which allows them to interact in two unique environments. Amphiphatic molecules are often called fatty acids because one part is a fat and the other part is an acid. Here's a model of a fatty acid that I made out of binder clips. This part is the fat with a long hydrocarbon chain, and this part is the acid with a lot of carboxyl groups. Fats and acids behave very differently when it comes to water. Water is attracted to the electric charge on the acidic portions of the molecule. However, water shows no affinity whatsoever to the hydrocarbon chains. When fatty acids are added to water, a strange kind of spontaneous organization emerges. The water molecules clump around the acidic portions of the fatty acids, forcing the hydrocarbon tails off to the side. Those hydrocarbon tails then too clump together, and the result is a kind of spontaneous alignment with all of the fats on one side and all of the acids on the other. If enough soap molecules are present, they can form what's called a me-cell, a kind of hollow sphere with a polar outside and a non-polar inside. The fact that this object, a me-cell, has both an inside and an outside is what allows soap to function. Remember, water and oil don't mix. When your frying pan is greasy, no amount of water is going to get the grease off. However, if there is soap in the water, the fatty tails of the fatty acids will spontaneously surround the grease on the pan, forcing it inside the me-cell. At the same time, the polar outside of the me-cell will hydrogen bond with the water that surrounds it, and then the whole object, the polar outside, the non-polar inside, and the grease within can be washed away with the water. So what does this have to do with identity? Well, think about what the me-cell is doing. The me-cell creates a barrier, but also a connection between two different kinds of chemical environments. The me-cell separates the grease from the water, but it also allows them to interact. This is precisely what is required to be an individuated living creature. To keep on being yourself, you need to be able to keep yourself separated from the rest of the world. Without a barrier, your body would begin to blur with the world and you would stop being yourself. But the barrier can't be perfect because you also need to be able to interact with the world. You need to be able to bring things from the outside inside you and move things from inside back out. When fatty acids are added to water, they spontaneously create a structure called a semi-permeable membrane. This is a barrier that forms all on its own that both separates and connects. This dual function, keeping apart while fusing together, is exactly what you need to clean a greasy pan, and also precisely what you need to be an individual self in a chaotic world. And that is what soap has to do with identity.